So here are the groupings. Some obviously better than others. Might be shooter error. This one I definitely felt. I could feel that it was a flyer and uh, called it, but uh, I mean, it still happens. But these are the groups. And now I'll roll on the footage of shooting and testing each load. You can watch real time to see how the shooting went, or you can skip to the end and I'll tell you which of these loads is which. Oh, with the stag barometer, got a loophole scope and a worn mount on it using a Caldwell Stinger at rest and Caldwell Target camera. We're gonna be looking at grouping of five different load types out there at 100 yards. We're going to start off light for caliber and then bring it heavy. We've got Nosler 35 grain, some GBW 45 grain, then a Nosler 55, Hornady 62, and Fiocchi 60. I'll leave the camera running, film in real time how the shots go. Let's see how it shoots. We'll start it off with a varmint round for the varmint gun. Nosler's 35 grain. Be shooting the center target because the wind has moved the camera a little bit. So at that cadence, we got usually a one inch group. If I can keep the target still enough through the wind, going next with the GBW 45 grain. Now these GBWs are frangible rounds, not meant for target shooting, but I just wanted to see how the gun would do with the 45 grain. And the answer is not so hot. I've got one more target before we're going to have to move the camera. I'm going to try it. Nozzer's Farmageddon 55 green on that square there. Come on, man.
Can I push through the targets or? Yeah. And the 55 grain was great. We got Hornady Black, 62 grain. Now this is a 506 load. It should be fine. It's gonna shoot up in that target there. So decent results from the Hornady Black. Not the best, but uh, it is a more affordable option for load five, the Fiocchi Exacta match with Sierra Match King bullets. 77 grain. There are five shots right there. So I'm going to go ahead and call that top one a flyer. I think that's my fault, but pretty darn good. So here they are. Were any of you right on your guesses? I was really impressed. The GBW trainer, just meant to be a frangible round for training purposes, 45 grains, actually grouped very nicely. The one flyer was my fault, and look at this bullet shape. Rather odd and different. I tried to show you that in the shooting footage. Sorry, I didn't see that the camera hadn't caught it. But that's what those look like. In fact, if I put all these in order together, you'll see part of why, aside from bullet weight, I like to try multiple loads. And that is bullet shape can vary greatly depending on the weight and the projectile design. So that's part of the interest in checking these out. I also noticed and thought it was kind of neat that how they broke through left different marks. For example, the 556, these very clean holes, clean on the backside. The 77 grain tore. You see the feathering of the paper there. Had the same thing with the 35 grain. The 45 with the cleaner holes. And the uh, Varmageddon also tore a bit. So interesting there just to see how the, uh, the rounds hit. But overall, I'd say the Stag Varminer is plenty accurate, certainly more accurate than I am, which is all I ask for in a gun is to have a gun that I can grow with, one that uh, outshoots me until I learn to outshoot it and then move on. But I think this thing is plenty accurate for any shooter out there certainly some folks who can do better than i did with these love to hear your thoughts on it uh, i know varmint guns have kind of fallen out of fashion of late and i don't really know why i think it's because we got wrapped up in the tactical age and uh everything was about having lots of accessories on your gun 
and uh, flicking Tactical and not so much about having a precision machine for shooting nice tight groups or in this case or in the intent of this gun taking out coyotes. Once again, thanks for watching as always and I'll see you in the next video.